How is it going you guys? Steven with Break Free Homestead. Today I'm going to show you a super simple way to case and trim out your windows. Now this is not the fanciest way you can trim out a window. So if that's what you're looking for, it's not this video. But let's get to it. So first you want to measure the distance from your window to your drywall. And if it's a new build window or a newly installed window, this is usually a pretty consistent number. But when you get into older windows or windows that were installed um, after the fact without the factory flange on the outside, these can be different. So you could just use a pencil and trace a line on the back of your material. You'll have to get a material that is wider than your casing is deep because you need to cut some material off. So say, just for instance, say this is three and a half all the way around, we just rip, um, well, you'd be lucky enough to use a one by four, but if it was a little bit more, you just rip a five inch piece or whatever. So first thing I did was rip our top and our bottom of our casing here. Now I'm just using a 18 gauge nail gun or staple gun. That's why you see me angling it because if you don't angle it, it'll leave a mark from the um, pneumatic thing trying to shoot out the staple that's not there. So try to get, get that to not go there. It's just more work to fill it after the fact. Now you're gonna wanna try to put your cut edge on the inside because you're gonna caulk, well, we're painting these windows, so we're gonna caulk the edge against the window so that'll give us a nice clean line on the outside and it'll look nice and clean when it's cocked against the window. Now we're going to measure our left and right side of the casing. You know sometimes these are different. Not everything's perfect. It might be a sixteenth off or something like that and you might as well uh, get it as precise as possible. So. So this particular window was not perfectly centered in the opening. So you'll see here, I'm gonna have to finagle this a little bit. You can see right there, I got my wrong sides. There's clearly a, a 16th or, or an eighth off. Um, so we got that. Getting that right one in, it's gonna have a nice finish on the window. Make sure your outside edge is flush with your drywall because your inside trim is going to sit on the drywall and meet up with that wood. And if it is not flush with the drywall, you will definitely be able to tell. Now since we are painting these, you do have a little bit more room for error in, you know, spacing and whatnot, and you can cock your way out of it. But if you're just staining these things, you have to be darn precise. So make sure you keep that in mind. Let me know down in the comments if this video was helpful at all. Uh, is this a casing that you would do or do you think it's too simple? Some people are fancy and they need that fancy trim. Either way, let me know. And uh, the left side has a little bit bigger of a gap which would cause a problem so I'm gonna hold it out so we can tack it in place where it needs to be you just throw some shims in here too we're not doing anything too wild I didn't put any shims I got it to stay in place fine but you might decide to shim it All right, now that we've finagled that thing in place, it is time we're gonna get our two vertical pieces. And what we're going to do is measure our verticals and then basically add an eighth of an inch to that. And then that's gonna be the piece um, for the verticals. We're not doing any miter cuts, all square cuts here, keeping it simple. And 
what that eighth is going to do is give us a sixteenth um, on the top and a sixteenth on the bottom. Uh, that our bottom pieces will not be able to go up flush with the bottom and top of the casing. So, you could go more. You could do none. It's completely up to you. There's no right way to do it. Whatever you like. So... Now that you have the left and right done, you're going to measure side to side on the outside. And this is going to give you your bottom and your top piece. The nice thing about this in doing the sides first is that it holds the top for you there. And then the bottom, you just push it right up against it. And it's super simple, super simple to get your measurements. And that is it guys, tack that thing in place with those bad boy 18 gauge nails and that thing ain't going anywhere. You know after this you'd cock the whole thing and then uh, add some paint but I don't need to show you that because we're just showing you how to put the casing in and trim it out. Super simple. If this helped you guys out at all please drop down below hit that like and subscribe button I would really appreciate it and it helps our channel out a bunch.